Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Since there are only a few days left of 2016, which is so hard to believe, I wanted to make a video showing you my beauty favorites from the year of 2016. Some of these products were launched in 2016, and others are old ones that I just discovered in 2016. If you would like to see my all-time favorite beauty products from the year 2016, just keep on watching. All right, so I have several products sitting here in front of me, so I'm gonna start out with talking about all the face products first, and then I'll move on to a different category. The first product that I'm gonna talk about today is this one, the MAC Prep and Prime Fix Plus Spray. And I have super dry skin, so I absolutely love this product because I always spray it on my face before I put foundation on. And then sometimes, if I'm gonna be applying my foundation with a foundation brush, I'll actually spray the brush, and then my foundation is just so much more dewy and flawless. So this is an absolute must if you don't have this one. It's amazing. So if you have dry skin, you should definitely check this one out. The next product that I discovered this year was this Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector, and it is in the color Moonstone. I absolutely love this because what I do is I take some, and I'll swatch a little bit for you. I put it on my hand, and I put about a drop and then I put a drop of my foundation and I mix it together and it just makes your foundation look so flawless and beautiful and dewy and I love dewy skin because I'm super dry. So anything that can make me look dewy, I'm all into. The next item that I discovered this year is this Josie Marin foundation. It's called the Vibrancy Foundation Fluid and it is amazing because it has an argon oil in it so it just makes your skin really hydrated and it makes it glow. So if you have oily skin, I do not recommend this, but if you have dry skin like me, you are gonna love this. I discovered another foundation this year and it is this Urban Decay Naked Skin One and Done. This stuff is my absolute favorite. On days when I don't wanna wear a lot of makeup, I love wearing this foundation because it's not a super full coverage, but it still covers blemishes and things that you want to be covered up. And it's really nice because it has SPF 20 in it, so that's always good. Just for reference, I wear the color light, and it's perfect because when I have a spray tan or when I don't have a spray tan, it still works perfectly. So this is a must have. Another face product that I've been loving this year is this Do The Hula Bronzer by Benefit, and it's a liquid bronzer. I'll show you a little bit of what it looks like. So you just squeeze a little bit out onto your hand, and it's just a liquid bronzer. So like I was saying before, I love having dewy skin, and if I don't want to be using powder bronzer, I love using this because it just makes you look much more hydrated. So it's perfect for the summer. Another awesome use for this is if you have a foundation that is a little bit too light, so if you get a spray tan or if you go on vacation and your foundation is too light, you can add just a little drop of this into your foundation and it will make it dark and it can customize to your skin color. So another benefit of this. Something that all my favorite YouTubers were talking about is this RCMA No Color Powder. And I felt like I had to try it out and it was also super cheap. I think this whole thing was only $12. So what I like to do is I take my beauty blender and I shake a little bit onto my beauty blender and then I just dab it onto my under eyes and I let it bake for a little bit and then I just wipe it off with a brush. And then my under eyes look flawless and it's a no color powder. So there's no white residue or anything. So this stuff, is awesome. Okay, the last two face products I'm gonna talk about are these Becca Luminous Blushes. Oh my gosh, these are my favorite. I have them in two colors. I have it in Flower Child and Camilla. I'll show you close up. This one's Flower Child. It's just the most gorgeous peachy pink color. And then this one is a brighter pink. I know it looks like it's super like hot electric pink, but I'm actually wearing that on my cheeks today and I just take a little bit and it's perfect. So the reason why I love these is because it has kind of like that sheen in them. So it just makes your cheeks look absolutely gorgeous and glowing. And I mean, who doesn't want glowing skin? This is my absolute favorite product of 2016. I would have saved it for last, but I'm going in order, starting with the face. So this is the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer, and I am pretty much done with this one. I need to get a new one. This is in the color light. This is honestly the best concealer I've ever used in my life. I have tried so, so many concealers, and nothing has ever worked like this one does. I get dark circles under my eyes, and I used to have to use like three products to try to cover up my bags under my eyes and nothing ever worked. 
I would use an orange under eye corrector first and then I would use a concealer on top and it still didn't cover the dark circles. But this stuff, it literally covers all of the dark circles under my eyes. I couldn't be more grateful for this stuff. I'm so glad that I discovered it. It's always sold out on Ulta. That's the only place you can get it. And they just restocked yesterday. So if you are in the market for a new concealer, definitely go to Ulta and get one right now. I'm serious. These sell out so fast. I'm just obsessed. This has like changed my makeup game. So definitely look into getting the Shape Tape Concealer by Tarte. Moving on to eyes, if you follow my blog, you would have seen that I did a blog post on this amazing eyeshadow palette that I customized. I ordered a Z palette. You can also get them on Ulta or zpalette.com. And what it is, is it just comes as an empty makeup palette. So these eyeshadows, they're magnetic you just can stick them in so it comes empty and then you customize it so I recently ordered these Anastasia Beverly Hills eyeshadows and I love them so I use this every day I'm wearing it on my eyes right now I love the colors that I chose I will list all the colors that I chose and all of these products in the description bar down below these specific Anastasia Beverly Hills eyeshadows they're so pigmented, they're so creamy, they're so easy to blend, and that's what everyone's looking for in eyeshadows, right? So if you're looking for new eyeshadows, then definitely check these out. It's so nice that you can buy the eyeshadows in singles because you can create your own eyeshadow palette, which is really nice because sometimes when you go and you buy just a generic eyeshadow palette, there's always a few colors that you know you're never gonna use. But when you customize one, you know that you're gonna love all of them. So let me just show you a few swatches. This is my favorite one. This is Gleam. This one actually has been sold out, so if they still have it, I'll link it below. It's kind of hard to see. It kind of blends in with my hand, but it just has such a pretty sheen. That's what I wear on my eyelid. And then let's see what this one is Fawn. Oh, they're just amazing. I love them. So that darker one, that one's fawn. I love wearing that one in my crease. It's just a really nice transition color. And then this one's gorgeous. It's called Rich Velvet. And it's just a dark, dark purple color with a little bit of shimmer in it. There you go, there's that one. So I'll link all of them below of which ones I picked out. I discovered this eyeshadow from Charlotte Tilbury probably just a few months ago. This is the Eyes to Mesmerize in Marie Antoinette. It is the most beautiful eyeshadow. It's kind of like a paint pot if you're familiar with those. So it's just, it's kind of like liquidy. So I'll show you what it looks like. Oh my gosh. It is so, so beautiful. It's like a bronze color with kind of metallic looking. Can you see that? Sorry, I have other swatches on my hand. But um, it's just, it's so beautiful. I wear it on my lid and I'll blend it into my crease and then that's it, that's all you have to wear. It's that beautiful that you can just wear it on its own. So if you haven't heard of this, Eyes to Mesmerize and Marie Antoinette by Charlotte Tilbury. Okay, the next two products are two eyeliners that I've been in love with this past year. This first one is the Marc Jacobs, let's see. Fine Liner Ultra Skinny Gel Eye Cram in the color Blacker. This is the tiniest little thing ever. And I love lining my upper waterline with this pencil. This is the best one I've ever come across. A lot of times when you find black eyeliners and you line your waterline, you blink a few times and then the eyeliner's gone. But this one, it always stays all day, all night. I love this one. Another eyeliner that I love is this NARS. It's called Larger Than Life Longwear Eyeliner and it's just a nude eyeliner pencil and I love to wear on my bottom waterline. I'm wearing it today. I just think wearing a nude color on your bottom waterline really opens up your eyes. So if you have smaller eyes like me, it helps make them appear a little bit larger. So this one is the Larger Than Life Longwear. Sorry if I didn't say it's NARS. Something else that I've been absolutely loving this year is this Revitalash Volumizing Primer. So I've been seeing so much about eyelash primers and different things and a lot of times they're white. 
So you put the primer on your eyelashes and your eyelashes are white and then you put on your mascara and it makes your eyelashes longer and thicker. Well, this Revitalash volumizing primer that I found is like electric blue. And the reason why I love this is because when you put it on your lashes before your mascara, your lashes are already dark. So then when you go over it with the black mascara, you're just making them darker. So you're not putting it over white, but you're putting it over blue. And this makes your eyelashes look so long and it's just amazing. So if you are looking for an eyelash primer, definitely look up the Revital Lash Volumizing Primer. The last eye makeup I want to talk about that I've been obsessed with is the MAC Extended Play Giga Black Lash. This mascara is amazing for your bottom lashes. It has a tiny little wand and it makes it so easy to get all of those little lashes on the bottom or on the top, like in the inside corner, it helps get those too. So this stuff is amazing. I usually use a different mascara for my top lashes, but I always use this for my bottom. I'm kind of high maintenance when it comes to my eyelashes, but I love, love, love using this on the bottom. I have to mention my favorite lip product of 2016. It's these NYX Butter Glosses. I'm pretty sure they're only like three or four dollars and they are an absolute steal. These are my favorite lip glosses probably ever. I love the consistency of these lip glosses. I'm wearing them right now. They're not sticky at all. They just have the best consistency. They're really smooth, they're really creamy. I have them in the color Eclair, which I'm wearing on my lips today. And then I recently picked up this one Angel Food Cake, which is just a little bit darker, but it's just as beautiful. I love these so much. Like I said, they're super cheap. I definitely wanna get more colors, but Eclair and Angel Food Cake are my favorites. Okay, I only have two products left to share, and this one is for the body. This is my all-time favorite self-tanner. This is the Fake Bake Self-Tanner. I've done an entire blog post on this, which I'll link below so you guys can check it out and find out how I self-tan and how I exfoliate before and how I get the most flawless tan, and it's by using Fake Bake. This is my favorite product ever, seriously. I have tried so many self-tanners. I've tried San Tropez, I've tried Loving Tan, I've tried Vita Liberata, and Fake Bake's the best. I've literally tried them all, and this one is the best. It's different than most because it's not a mousse. It's actually a spray bottle, so it has a nozzle and you spray it onto your mitt. I actually don't like the tanning glove that it comes with in the box, but I just buy the San Tropez tanning mitt and it works perfectly. So I'm not gonna talk much more about this because like I said, I have a whole blog post dedicated to this, but if you are looking for a new self-tanner, this is the one you need because it's by far the best. For the last product in my 2016 beauty favorites, I am actually talking about a nail polish. I have been so obsessed with this nail polish all year long and I know I'm gonna be obsessed with it next year too, but this is the OPI Let's Be Friends nail polish. It's actually in the Hello Kitty collection, which is super random, but this was the nail polish that I wore on my wedding day. This is the nail polish that I get like every other manicure. I love it so much. So this is the gel. So I just ordered mine, I think off of Amazon because I always want a bottle just in case the nail salon doesn't have it. And I just bring it in and they just paint my nails with my own and then I bring it home. So this is my favorite color in the whole world. It's kind of like a light pinkish white color. So it's just beautiful, it's neutral. You can wear it on your nails all year long. It's my favorite. So if you are wanting to get a new nail polish, definitely check out Let's Be Friends. And that is it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you loved my beauty picks for 2016. I would love to hear what your favorites have been over the past year, so leave me a comment down below and let me know if I missed out on any products. I love finding out about new products and new things to try, so leave me a comment and let me know. Please subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. See you next time.